Well, this is a rally to bring people together at a time when people are feeling very vulnerable, uh, very distressed. Uh, a lot of people here this evening have family members or friends who have either been murdered, uh, abducted, or are missing in the wake of the heinous attacks that occurred over the weekend. Um, as, as families here getting are gathering to celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, that's exactly what people in Israel were doing this weekend. It was their version of Thanksgiving holiday that was happening there. Uh, and these attacks um, targeting children, uh, abducting children, uh, raping women, um, murdering senior citizens in cold blood, uh, have really shaken this community to its core. And uh, the, even those who, who were not directly attacked over the weekend are, are still in lockdown, still in, in shelters, um, and we don't know what tomorrow will hold. And so we're all coming together to sort of pray for peace and for our family to return home. I'm standing here facing uh, again uh, an, an attempt to kill my family, to kill my people. And I want to see somebody standing up and call, call them out. These people are the ones that have been the aggressors for the last 70 years. It is time to change, it's time to stop this occupation and maybe then we'll have lasting peace. We're doing a demonstration in solidarity with the people of Palestine who are struggling for their liberation against an occupation apartheid system uh, set up by the state of Israel and imposed upon them. Sabra Marcus is a Holocaust survivor and has lost many family members since the Second World War. She lives by the slogan, never again, never forgive, never forget. As a survivor, I need to have it or I cannot survive much longer. I'm one of the youngest that survived and I will not stop speaking. You know, people have enough of it. My father was kicked out of his house. My family was killed, right, 75 years ago. And it's continuing till now.